Vince Martinelli, 47. BP 80 over 40. He's attacking with a heart rate of 130. Diaphoretic and showing signs of dehydration. Found collapse. The construction site over on 19. Thanks. We'll take him from here. Mr. Martinelli, my name is Dr. Gloom. Am I dying? Not if I can help it. Let's hang a liter of plasmolite. We're going to run another EKG to figure out what's going on with your heart, okay? Has this ever happened to you before? No, never. I've been feeling like I was coming down with the flu all week, and then this happened. Well, the good news is you're not having a heart attack. I'm gonna be back on the job. One step at a time, okay? Oh, wow, there's no pay, Doc. I get it, but there is something going on. Have you noticed anything else recently? Yeah, well... Hmm. Night key. I've seen some blood in there, too. It's bad, right? Normal, 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 within range. Wait, wait, his cobalt serum value is 60 micrograms per liter? Cobalt poisoning, how do you get that? Okay, uh, pay sharp and get the Department of Public Health on the line. We may need to shut down this construction site. I don't want any trouble. I understand that, Mr. Martinelli, but we need you to tell us what you've seen at your construction site. Any old signs or labels talking about cobalt or other heavy metals? No, nothing like that. What about old insulation? They're running a clean shop, I swear, and they're square by me. Especially how they treated me since my accident. What accident? I was welding early on on the joists. I fell 10 feet and shattered my hip. Gosh, you're lucky that was all. And I was out a while. But the foreman, after my hip replacement, put me on sight hauling. You didn't have to do that. Um, what do they have you doing as, as a sight hauler? Driving the trash away. It's the cushiest job I've ever had for the money. Mr. Martinelli, are you OK if we check something? You dead? All you're going to feel is a slight pinch and some pressure. Mr. Martinelli, you're being poisoned by your artificial hip. OK, this plasmapheresis machine will filter your blood, and it'll help save your remaining kidney function. How is this even happening? The ball joint and the socket of your artificial hip are made of a cobalt alloy. The metal parts are rubbing against each other, and the friction is causing the cobalt to flake off into your bloodstream. How do you stop it? We're uh, going to need to replace your hip, Vince. Oh, no. And how do we know this won't just happen again? Wedlow Medical, the manufacturer, claims to have fixed the problem with their newer models. Claims to have fixed it? This is my body. Who's going to pay for the surgery? Or the time I'm out of work? It took eight weeks last time. You think my worker's cop is going to cover this again? No way. Vince. No, this will bankrupt me. Listen to me, Mr. Martinelli. That is not going to happen. I promise you I'll make sure of it. And then who the hell's going to pay? They are. Because you personally brought this to our attention, Wedlow Medical is willing to cover the cost of Mr. Martinelli's new hip replacement. And? We'll also cover Mr. Martinelli's rehabilitation and lost wages. Yeah, no, that's not going to work for us. Because I discovered that when the FDA banned metal on metal hips, your company simply coated those defective hips. Mr. Martinelli would like your 100% ceramic hip. The one that won't poison me. Those are triple the cost. Oh, I wasn't done. We'd also like Wedlow Medical to provide this ceramic hip free of charge to any new patient who suffers a malfunction of your coated devices. Dr. Sharp, we don't have to offer your patients anything. We're in full compliance with the FDA. In fact, we only took this little meeting because, frankly, we're big fans of Dr. Helen. Then Dr. Helen will go on TV and broadcast to the world how Wedlow Medical's poorly designed products harm patients. And perhaps I'll bring this to, uh, to drive my point home. It's joint fluid that we found inside Mr. Martinelli's body. 
You do that and we'll crush you with so many defamation suits you'll never practice medicine again. I'd like to see you try. They'll destroy you. They have bottomless pockets and a fleet of lawyers, and they will destroy everything that you have ever worked for. They only see me as Dr. Helen, a TV personality, so I intend to put that personality to good use. Yeah, and what about Dr. Sharp? She is out fighting for her patients, something that you do every single day, and yet you're asking me to pull my punches. Why would you do that? Because this will end your career, and I can't do this without you. I'm not fully... Here. A part of me is still on that ambulance. You push me away, and you expect me to understand. And then you need me, and you use your feelings as leverage. You think I'm using Georgia to manipulate you? I don't know what you're doing because you won't ever talk to me. I can't talk to you. Why? Because I'm trying to spare you. I don't want you to feel this. I don't want you to experience this. <laughs> and it's not fair. I know. None of this is fair. We can just toss fair out the window. Max, when you need me, I am here for you. For all of it. But not at the expense of my patient. As awful as it sounds, in regards to some of the larger medical device companies, we've just become guinea pigs for their inferior products. And it's not as if it's a microwave that you can return or get recalled. Exactly. We're talking about products that are surgically implanted into your body. In your spine, your heart, a hip. And if these products fail, you get sick. Or worse, you die. I have a brave, hard-working patient whose life has been turned upside down by one of these products. The time has come to make a stand. When we come back, Dr. Helen will reveal which company to avoid and why. And we're out. And we're back in three, two. Welcome back to The Night Shift. I'm here with Dr. Helen, who has come to warn us about a company that harmed one of her patients. Dr. Helen? I'm actually not here to shame any one particular company, because in truth, they're all in compliance with the FDA. And that's where the real fault lies. So you're taking on the FDA? It appears that way, doesn't it? The FDA need to enact real regulations on medical devices that protect patients, not corporate profit. We need clinical trials before implanting heavy metals into our body. We need oversight. We deserve that much. So what can our viewers at home, what can they do? Call your representatives, demand to be heard. If we want change, then we have to be the ones to initiate it. 